Good morning folks, welcome back to another one of Holmes's adventures. Just got the bike started as you can see. I'm going to make my way to the local petrol station and fuel up and catch up with a couple of other boys and today's plan is not really a plan. We're just gonna go for a little ride, probably head into the Wombat State Forest somewhere, uh, have a little bit of smoko somewhere in the bush and probably even make it to some sort of a pub, maybe for lunch. So uh, I'll hop on the bike and uh, go and get some fuel and I'll catch up with you in a minute. Look right, look left, look bike. Okay. So, uh, put my visor down. Sunday morning. Around, uh, what is it? I think it's 9, 9.30, something like that. And it's telling me it's already 19 degrees. So, uh, perfect conditions for a ride today. Not too hot. There is a nice little breeze coming through the jacket. So, one is happy with that. So, um, looking forward to this ride because I haven't been out for a while when the weather's been this good. And also going for a ride with a couple of other people. Makes the ride even better. So, uh, I'll head up this road here and uh, come back to you when I hit the petrol station. As I was just riding up the road, one of those bloody speed cameras was hiding on the side of the road again. Bastards. Anyway, I'll go and uh, fill up. Well, very busy in there. So I got the old fuel. So uh, to fill the old KDM 790 was $30.60. 1531 a litre. There you go. Supreme 98, sorry. 199, nearly two bucks. Boy. All right, see you at Mix. Welcome back, guys. So, everybody's got their petrol. Uh, we've got Mick up front, my brother. He's going to take us on a little bit of a track today. And he's riding the KDM 890, which is the latest model. And uh, we've got Shane in second place there, who I'm following. He's on a brand new DR 650. And uh, he picked that up through this COVID times, and I'm thinking that this is probably his second ride on it. And then you got myself on the KDM 790R. So, nice cruisy day today. Um, we're going to be making our way to Gisborne, I believe. We're leaving Summary HQ right now, and uh, we're going to go to Gisborne or what they call New Gisborne and there used to be like a car tip and I don't think there's any cars there now but uh, in the old days when we were like 18, 19 they used to dump all old cars down there and uh, when you smashed up your XB Falcon or, or your XC Falcon or an old Holden or something you'd be able to go down there and almost pick apart for nothing it was good fun but uh, these days I think it's just a little bit of a spot where uh, mountain bikers go and uh, people play around with their bikes so uh, I'll leave it there and when we get to uh, this uh, car tip so-called car tip it's not really that anymore as I said we might make that uh, the uh, local proving grounds from uh, Sunbury HQ perhaps 
So um, we'll come back to you when we get there. We're not quite at the uh, Gisborne car tip, but uh, Mick's just gone off onto a track, so I haven't been on this one. So I thought I'd just uh, pop his back for a second. I think it's only a short thing. Oh, this would have been the old bridge of the Calder Highway leading to Gisborne. must remember when we get to the um, car tip to put it back in put it in rally mode because it's much better no traffic and away we go this guy here you'll see this little building he's been lobbying for years now been wanting to make like a route 66 type roadhouse because the Calder freeway runs right past it but uh, he's having many difficulties with the uh, council they're uh, apparently not up for it at all I don't know the reasons behind it but uh, I think this guy's got a bit of money and stuff but even with that doesn't seem to uh, have much clout with what he's wanting to do which is a pity because um, something like that would be really good on the highway I think where you can turn up with your motorbike or your car and have a bit of a uh, Route 66 type restaurant where you get your hamburgers and chips and your milkshakes and that type of deal that you uh, see in America so but anyway like I said he's been lobbying for years it hasn't happened I can't see it happening so Anyway, I'll leave it there. Okay, welcome back, folks. We're just going in this little Hobbs Road um, track here. Oh. What does that mean for us? like uh, we might not be getting across there's a big tree there oh, we're not going in there unless we find another way okay Yeah, we've just hit the Wombat State Forest, guys. This truck has one downhill yeah. across the creek, but it should be fine dry. Let's have a look. We did it on the four. We did it when we come on the four-wheel drive. It should be good. Just stay slow because there might be traffic coming the other way. Right, yeah. Look at you go. Apparently we've got a little hill or something coming up. Now, uh, we expect it to be pretty busy there at here, so you want to be careful there's no uh, oncoming traffic. Cool little track. One of the main tracks you're allowed to run, legally. What they, uh, Call a formed road. All right, I'll come back to you with something. So, uh, looks as though it's going to be interesting. Hang on, we're going down. Oh, uh, that's nothing much. We'll come back. Oh, yeah. 
I'm not sure if this is that little bit of a hill he's talking about. Anyway, whatever it is, it's not too bad. Very dusty. Woo. Keep them back a bit. Uh, bits of branch down anyway as I always say until something interesting comes up I'll uh, turn you off for a bit righty oh guys I think it's going to get interesting now so very rocky anyway All good. Loving it. This is where these uh, bikes really thrive. You know what goes down must go up. going real easy and concentrating guys because this is pretty steep uh, I'm not talking much oh yeah I think I've been down here in my four wheel drive oh okay beautiful Gotta love it. Oh. Wet feet time. Oh. This goes up, goes around, and then it's pretty easy. That's the way. Whew. I am. Well, don't, you're going to have to get up there because that's worse. But yeah, I'm not liking it. <laughs> it's easy. Why don't you get around the corner straight up? Yeah. Uh, Radio. Still rolling, guys. <sighs> Gotta get this big banger up. <sighs> no worries. No worries. And up we go. I was going to say, I had my uh, concerns then, but uh, that was just me being a bit of a pussy. That was actually enjoyable. Can't have it too easy. Oh, Rocky. Oh, big boulders there. Just want to be careful I don't harpoon me tire on a rock. That's what we don't want. Oh, there's some more boulder dash. That we right. Loving it. Certainly, uh, oh, Shane, he's coming. Whoo! That's the worst of it. <laughs> Just have a stop for a minute. Oh, 
Oh, welcome back guys. Well, we uh, got through the creek successful as you just saw and we got up the hill and that was uh, a lot of fun. I was a bit concerned at first because I'm a bit of a pussy, but anyway. <laughs> so, here we are. KDM 890. Mick, how, how's she performing for you? Absolutely loving it. First real track that I've had it on, so I've got 400 Ks on it. Yep. And very impressed, very impressed being a heavy guy anyway. And and what made you change from the DR650? Well, don't get me wrong, the DR650 is good, but with my weight, the suspension on this is just, everybody's saying it anyway. Yep. It's the suspension, and it's just so forgiving, and, and, and the power, plus the on-road capabilities is, is what I went for. Cool. And Shane, how are you... Uh... <laughs> Liking your DR650, it's brand new. Brand new. Has it? Entry bike. Yep. And I think it's very forgiving and, and, and it likes me. And you had no trouble with the creek and no you're getting up the other the side? Creek. No, no, the, everything was pretty good today. I mean, really enjoying it and um, really can't wait to get into this a bit more. Excellent. Uh, well worth coming out. So there you go. Happy campus so far. So we're just gonna have a little rest at the minute because we uh, did a little bit of rigorous riding <laughs> and uh, we'll come back to you real soon when we uh, got something else to show you. Here we are, we've made it to Blackwood, the little town of Blackwood. Beautiful uh, running creek. Lots of tree down again, lots of trees down again as you can see. Um, we went to go to a picnic ground where we were actually going to have something to eat but it was closed due to uh, trees coming down. So we've just picked a little spot down the bottom of the Blackwood pub and uh gonna have a bite to eat so, so we'll see what the guys are up to so what have we got boys no, what's, what's mick eating today he's got himself a bit of a roll and some army roll and some crackers and some cheese bickies that's the way we'll go over and see what shane's gonna uh eat he's got his thermos out so he's having a coffee a little bit of fruit a christmas fruit cake there you go huh? Nice out here. Do you want a bit of milk for that coffee? No, thank you. No. Thank you, mate. And uh, I'm just going on the old toasted cheese and salami sanger. It's not hot. I just made it this morning. Makes a little bit of a difference from the old salami and biscuit and cheese that we always seem to eat when we go on rides. I and mean, there's nothing wrong with that because it's absolutely fantastic. But uh, I thought I'd make myself a bit of a sandwich. So we're going to tuck in, have something to eat. Um, and I think the plan of attack is to maybe find a pub and have a nice cold pot. So I'll come back to you. Yeah. Are you enjoying that, boys? Raise your glasses. Raise your glasses, boys. Cheers. Good day for it. Bloody beautiful. Right here, guys. Welcome back. Just uh, had a nice little drink at the Greendale Dale Pub. We're making our way back to Sunbury now. As you can see, 
it's very very dusty so I haven't taken a lot of footage today of us riding in the bush because it's just so friggin dusty so I wasn't intending to make this a real long video anyway so um, yeah I just thought we'd get out a little bit today have a little bit of a quick ride which has ended up turning into uh, quite a few hours actually by the time we uh, went to all the different spots so uh, I'll probably finish the video up here guys so um, if you've been watching thanks very much I appreciate uh, all your views again if you're first time and you've come across this video there's uh, lots more of my stuff on YouTube uh, on Holmesy's Adventure or Holmesy's Adventure Cooking it may still come under so uh, check, check it out and if you like subscribe that's all you got to do so what I'll do here is uh, I'll wrap up the video and I'll uh, leave you with some pictures of uh, today's ride cheers guys and see you on the next one